by gum. Welcome back to the flat world, my pretty pupils. This is episode 55, I do say. And today we are going to gather up the animals and bring them to a very special place. Uh, and let me explain why we're doing that. So, um, last episode, as you know, we tried to get the horses and we had no luck. I went another 10,000 blocks. But, um, so I did some more research and had some help from my friends. Uh, PatchM142 was helping me, Cabo PC from the JL server was helping me, and SC Petty from, uh, well, he's not from anything, but he has a cool server, the Ariador server. Uh, check that out, by the way, because I might uh, be doing something there, but I can't, I'm not sure yet. Um, yeah, he helped me as well, and... It was all very fun. I, I have his tree farm design installed down below, so in case you were wondering who that is. Ah, oh man, look at all this wheat. It's all destroyed. Anyways, um, basically, we are going to um, go and try to... Oh, man, I can't think right now. Um, bring all of our animals away from the spawn chunks here, because... Um, oh, I know what I was going to get. Uh, we want to bring them away from the spawn chunks because uh, even though there are the the passive mob cap shouldn't be filled with the amount of animals we have around here, um, it will drastically increase the likelihood of random uh, spawns in newly generated chunks if I bring them all away. So we're gonna grab some torches here and just lead these animals away. So, uh, I'm also going to grab some wheat, carrots, and seeds. Well, I guess I don't really need seeds. I'll think about it. Hold on. So, the chickens. What, what will I do with the chickens? That is a question. I could... Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm just trying to remember what each animal needs. The sheep and the cows both eat wheat, I'm pretty sure. Um, but the chickens should just be around down here, and I guess if I just have some eggs, um, then I won't have to bring them anywhere, and I'll be fine. So, two is not enough. I'm gonna wait on the chickens. I'm gonna collect some eggs from them. Um, I should trap them or something. I'll do that in a bit. But anyways, we might as well at least bring the sheep, the cows, and the pigs uh, over to their new location, which you will see um, in just a bit. And this will provide me an opportunity to show you guys the, uh, the mountain as well. So, the Withering Heights, I've been working on it. You guys said you wanted to see the grass all the way up the side, and I was crazy enough to say, okay. And so, now that is what we're working on here. Um, so, if I come over here, you could see it rendering in. You're going to get to see it a lot better, just a bit. Um, too many pigs. Too many. Slaughter. Slaughter time. Kill you. Kill you. I will bring three. Okay, come with me. All right. This might be tough. Hmm. I will destroy this. Okay. Come with me now. Hooray. All right. And let's grab some sheep seas. Um, so I'll destroy this as well, I suppose. I don't know how many animals you can lead at once. How And how fast I can go without them ripping off. They seem to be keeping up relatively well. Alright, so there's two sheep over here. I thought there were more, but I guess I just left two. Which is fine. Um, so you guys are going to come with me. And let's, let's go. I've got a party following me. So... 
I don't want to take too many animals at once. Because uh, I don't want to risk their lives, their valuable lives. So, uh, I'm just going to lead all these guys and lead them carefully. Gotta make sure the sun's still high in the sky. Yeah, I think we're good. Um, Alright guys, come with me. So yeah, as you can see, I've been mining a, a ton of dirt. I have like a billion diamond shovels. So I've been, just been mining a ton of dirt and placing it. And so far, that's what I have. It looks really good in my opinion. So I'm kind of glad I decided to do it. Now I just gotta place the trees back where they were because I've been chopping them all down. So I had loads and loads of wood. Which was pretty nice. Um, because I don't have loads of bones at the moment in, uh, so that I can use my tree farm. Got to wait for uh, the hoppers to sort of fill up the chest with bones as the mob farm runs. Um, but yeah, we're just going to lead them across here. Again, I think uh, I think it's a pretty cool look, so I'm happy with the way it's coming out. Did I lose one of my pigs? Oh, I did. Alright, guys, wait here. Come on. Why are you slacking, mister? Come on. Alright. No, I lost my sheep now. Uh, this is gonna be a pain. Okay, do I have everybody? I'm just gonna have to go real slow. Uh oh. Okay. Um, let's start leading them downwards. This is, uh, risky business. You know, wouldn't it be funny if, uh, horses spawned on this mountain? That'd be awesome. I don't think it's gonna happen, though. Alright, so we need to lead them around to the other side of this mountain. And that should be out of range of the spawn chunks. To my knowledge. Okay, everybody with us? This looks insane. I kind of wish I had another perspective. Wait, let's see. <laughs> uh, this is funny. Come on. One sheep is worrying me. Alright. Oh, a chicken. Yeah, there's some animals, like some random animals in the water around here. Pretty mysterious. There's a pig over there, yep. So we'll have to take care of those guys as well. In fact, while I'm here, I might as well just grab on. Hey guy, I will take your egg. Thank you very much. This is slow. But I want you guys to see where I'm bringing them all. Oh, that's an interesting point of view. <laughs> okay, the sun is almost set, uh, but hopefully we'll make it there in time. I got plenty of torches, and we'll, we're just beginning to see it now. I've built an ark to house our animals. Yep, and uh, I guess I might have to um, build a tunnel through the mountain to the other side. Uh, if I don't want it to be super annoying every time I bring animals back and forth from the ark. But, yeah, that's that's where I decided to put it. I don't, no particular reason. Uh, just, that's what seemed convenient, so... Yeah, there you go. Um, more pigs over here. Hopefully I have enough leads to get them all. But, yeah, there's the ark, so I'm gonna take them over to there. I might have to wait a little bit for day to come. Um, these guys won't go anywhere in the water, so maybe I'll just go over to the town and sleep in a bed. Uh, if I can make one, and then do that. But, uh, I will be with you guys in just a bit. Alright guys, so we've made it to the Ark, and I'm just trying to lead these guys up. But it doesn't look like I'm going to have much luck, so I'm just going to do these... Ow! Are there any creep? Oh, Jesus! Yep. Okay. Um, need to get out of F5. Need to yield a weapon. This is dangerous. Okay, those guys will fight. I just gotta take care of this guy. Okay. Nope. 
Gotcha. Okay. I'll lead you guys to there. Okay. Ah. Uh, this is horrifying. There's a lot of guys down below in the basement of this thing, and probably up top as well. All right, let's uh, let's run around lighting up because I didn't do a very good job. I didn't have many torches when I built this. So, all right, torches go everywhere. <sighs> I'm panicking. These are like my only animals, and I'm like bringing them to creeper heaven. Okay, and I don't have a sword, so I'll use this axe. Okay. Alright. So that seems good. Got those guys. Now I just need to bring the rest of the animals up. Which might be pretty difficult. Where are all my leads? There should be broken leads everywhere. Alright. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey. Hey! Oh, this is insane. I should really do this. Where, where did the animals go? If I remember, there were two sheep. Okay. Oh, yeah, there they are. Go ahead, blow up, see what I care. Okay. So it seems like all my leads are gone for some reason. And that pig is lighting up. Like a flashlight. <laughs> okay, come on. Get this guy up here first. And tie you. I'm gonna run out of leads. Where where are all my leads? They should have all fallen off right right around here. I guess they despawned, maybe? Yeah, maybe I waited too long. Alright, come on, Mr. Flashlight. Let's go. Uh, this is stressful. Hey, where do you, hey, what are you doing? Oh, the leads are down there, probably. Because, yeah, okay. Alright, come on. Come on up. I think I know where they are. Hurry up, guy. Don't have all night. Uh, put you there. Okay. Yeah, I think they're probably down below right here with the pig and the sheep. I'm guessing. Maybe not. Yeah, he's tied to the pole. And here are all my leads. Alright. So, if I just right click you. This poor guy. Where's the red sheep? How could it go so far? So little time. Um, let me relog, first of all. Uh, make sure that pig is actually. Yep, he's actually down there. With his lead going through the floor. And the pig is where? I don't see him. Or the sheep, I'm talking about. The red sheep. Where'd he go? Oh, he can't have gone far. There he is. Oh, this is so slow. But it'll be worth it. I will always have a supply of animals in this arc. I think I'm going to break this open and see what all the hubbub is about. Oh, just a zombie. It's not so bad. Alright, let's light all this up. I just built this thing like in half an hour to an hour real quick uh, before the video, so it, d it doesn't really follow any unique plan. I just made it up as I was going along. So, just so you know. Th that is the weirdest thing. Oh, I hate that. They like the new zombie spawns when you're hit beating up another zombie. It's so weird. Okay. So this sheep is the fastest sheep in the world. It should be just around this corner, hopefully. Yep, 
trying to make a great escape while I'm not paying attention. I tried to make like the, the one bar in the middle come out a little farther than the rest. Alright. Come with me. Thought you were so clever, didn't you? And I'll probably just end up slaughtering whatever animals I find in the water around here. Alright, come on. You with me? Let's go. Alright, up here. Perfect. So once I get all these animals in here and I know I have a good supply of them, I can make sure there's none left at the flat world base, you know, the the tower, and then I can go to town. Whatever that means. I can, <laughs> you know what I mean. I think. There we go. So one for chickens, this will be for cows, some for sheep, I don't know. Now there are a billion spiders up here, by the sounds of it. And hopefully, yep, there's a creeper. Let's close that up. Not look at the Enderman. So apparently I need some lighting in there pretty desperately. So this will be rather dangerous. Okay, a couple creepers, a couple spiders. Man, guys are hard to hit. Oh, that should let the spiders out, right? Nope, they don't want to come out. Bad pathfinding skills. Recording this in case something terrible happens. Gotcha. So many spiders, oh my god. Insane. Focus on the creeper. Gotcha. Now take out the skeletons. My poor axe. Gotcha. Alright, everything is lit up. We are safe. No more annoying spider noises. And now we just gotta wait for the bats to despawn. So, the, uh, speaking of the bats, there are a few kinds of mob caps. There's the peaceful mob cap, the hostile mob cap. Um, where the hell are you going, pig? Yeah, there's a peaceful mob cap, a hostile mob cap, a water mob cap, and a ambient mob cap. The bats would be part of the ambient mob cap. A uh, hostile mob cap would include all the skeletons, creepers, endermen, for example, etc. Peaceful mob cap is all of these precious animals, and the water mob cap is like squids, and yeah. So, we gotta make sure the peaceful mob cap is down. Uh, nothing else really matters. Doesn't matter how many entities there are. Do nothing matters except for the peaceful mob cap, uh, making sure that is not reached. So, um, yeah, hopefully we're doing a good job of that. Now I just gotta bring over some cows. And we should have enough of each animal. Let's see, how many chickens do we have? I guess we just have one, so make sure we get another one. Nope. Uh, there's there's another one out in the water there, though, so I'll go grab him. And once we have one of each animal, we can start breeding them in there. And, yeah, I'll be with you guys in a bit. What? 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 I was just... No! What? You... What? I... 
I was just enchanting things and using my XP farm, and I wa- I d I, <laughs> I got a horse! Wow, I- <laughs> I was just en enchanting some picks, I was gonna work on that tunnel through the mountain, but I wanted some nice picks to work on it, and um... So I've been using the XP farm and doing a bunch of enchants on some picks, and then I walked out and there was a horse, and now I don't even... Okay, well, let's grab a saddle. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is insane. I... Oh my god, I was not expecting that at all. Let's grab a few just in case there are any other horses up there. I hope there are because I want to breed them. Oh my... I can't believe it worked! I have gone like thousands and thou 20,000 blocks in one direction and 10,000 in all the others, so that's 30,000, 20,000, 50,000 blocks I've traveled. Um, and then since I had to come back from each of those trips, you multiply that by two, that's like 100,000 blocks I've traveled. And I did not find a single horse. <laughs> and then I'm enchanting things in my base. And a horse appears outside. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh man, that is so weird. Look at him, he's beautiful. Alright, let's 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 sleep real quick. Um, I am so excited, I'm so happy. Uh, so I guess it really was just the, the amount of passive mobs that were still in my base was uh, making it so the horses couldn't spawn. Um, but yeah, I, I can't even believe it. Uh, we are in a plains biome, so it makes sense, I suppose, but it's just still insane nonetheless. Um, and I didn't even clear out the chickens in the basement yet. Uh, I think there's still some mobs around. I, I just destroyed this. There we go. Um, Alright, wow. So let's let's try and tame this guy, eh? So what do you do? You try and ride him? Oop, I fed him some apples by accident. Hey, let me on. Okay. He bucks me off. Oh wow, he's got a lot of hearts, but that probably means he's gonna be slow, huh? Does he like me? He's not bucking me. Alright, let's try and put a saddle on him now. Not yet. Hey. I think the hearts need to appear. This is so exciting. You're a stubborn guy. Hey, he loves me! Yay! Now I can put a saddle on him. I think. Oh, okay, here go like that and I do have some horse armor that I found oh my god look at this my very own horse let's see how high he jumps not very high so he's not a jumper or a runner he's just a tank this guy's a tank I wonder if there are any other horses around because I'd like to get a fast one. Oh man this is so exciting you can't even jump over the fence come on man even I can jump over the fence when I have my jump boost. Oh, there we go. So, at the peak of his height, I guess, if you get the jump the very best, he can jump two blocks, I suppose. Wow, okay, so we got a horse. Um, that is incredible. Just one, though. That's weird. Um, maybe I'll look around. There's got to be some other ones around here, I bet. Are in here? It's hard to tell. Oh man, this is amazing. I can't believe it. Now we gotta bring the animals back. <laughs> as soon as we get breeding some horses. I gotta look some stuff up though, because maybe I want to do some more exploring, get lots of horses, make sure that um, I, I have the ability to get some really nice ones. And then... Uh, yeah, do it that way. But, yes, proof that it is possible to get horses on a fly world. This fly world was made a long time ago, uh, way before you could customize them at all. So, uh, yeah, awesome stuff. Can you sprint on a horse? Is that a thing? Hey, come on. There we go. No, I guess you can't. So, it's just... Wow, so awesome though. Alright, so... This is tough. 
Okay, I suck at this. There we go. Nope. Oh man. So I guess this guy is the only guy then? I mean, I, I think they only spawn on grass. If I were to... Yeah, because I think last time we read on the wiki they only spawn on grass. Come on. Let me up. Ah. Okay, so none in any of the rooms around the base. Um, which is okay. So I guess maybe this guy is a lone horse. Um, but we'll just have to check and see if there are any other guys around um, down below and stuff. I mean, they wouldn't spawn in the water, but uh, I don't know. We'll have to check. Maybe there would be some at the Iron Golem farm or... I'm trying to think of places where there's lots of grass. Um, this is pretty cool though. Look at this. This is amazing. Because he just climbs a hill so swiftly. Like I don't even have to jump at all. He's just, it's like an elevator. That's a great way to travel upwards actually. Make an elevator out of this. We up to the top. Come on, get up there. Oh, it's because of the carpet. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. So there's the ark down there. Uh, that's where all our animals are. I did start to build a tunnel um, connecting the ark to the base. I actually finished it, but it's only a 2x2, two two, so I wanted to make it a 4x3 for horses, actually. Um, so that's why I was getting the picks uh, and doing all that enchanting. So um, I want to check the iron golem farm. So let's go over there, and it also wouldn't hurt to check um, outside the water places. This is so cool. Alright, how do we get down here? Is this horse accessible? No, I guess it's not. Huh. We're gonna have to make a horse water drop. I, th I bet it'll fit in the 4x4 four four thing over here. So that should work. Do they not sink? Oh, they do. Hey! Oh, he, he bucked me off. Okay, well... Um, I'll have to do something. Hold on. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> I forgot, uh, there used to be, like, a, a pond down there, but I forgot about the wheat farm. Alright, so I guess we'll just, uh, have to ride off the edge somewhere to get down. Which is fine. Uh, I'll make I'll make some sort of horse travel uh, soon. But yeah, let's let's hop down. We thought that was another horse for a second, but it's just a spider. Um, I don't know how much health they can possibly have. I bet they can have the full two bars of hearts at maximum. All right, let's get rid of this. Ah! Ow. Okay. Um, is that a slime? Oh, I thought he was in the cage with the uh, villager. All right, let's uh, let's go down to the portal, I guess. Um, man, I'm gonna have to make my base horse accessible. <laughs> All right, so down here. Uh huh. Come on. So I wonder why the chickens, like, didn't block the the spawning at all. Huh. Ow. Am I teleporting? Oh, he's in the nether now. I hope he's not dying in a wall. I would probably cry. Okay. In you are. Oh, I forgot. This connects up here. Huh. <laughs> um, go back in, okay, horsey? Go back inside. It's okay, just go back in the portal. No? 
Okay, great. Well, let's at least make this safe. Okay. Um, hmm, yeah, we just need to get him to go back in the portal. Alright, let's take a journey. Run some laps. Alright, now get back in there, guy. In you go. Come on. Come on. What? I, I just teleported. You guys saw that. Oh, I was eating the bread. Oh, I see. I tried to eat the bread and I right-clicked on him. Alright, well this is annoying. But, uh, yeah, I guess if I just wait a few minutes, he'll be able to go back through, hopefully. So, give me a bit. Alright, so, he's not going through the portal, so I decided to take matters into my own hands. Because I figured, eventually, maybe I'll have to get down here with a horse anyways someday. So, bam, I made a staircase up. And... Ow. Um, yeah, just climb through here. Ow. Oh, there's a slime. Alright, let's run. Gallop away. Alright, so let's check the Iron Golem farm. Uh, just for kicks, we can check around it. There's... Uh, mostly because I don't want to have to swim around with this horse. Um, because I feel like it'll take a while, so... Uh, I figure we could start here because there's lots of grass. Alright, now go through the portal. Oh, you put me on the other side. You bitch. Okay, in we go. Hopefully he's not being raped and murdered. Okay. So, no horses up here. Which is to be expected, I suppose. Uh, because the odds of that happening are fairly low, I'm sure. Um, but, if we go over here, we'll have plenty of grass to explore. Oh, Jesus Christ. Down we go. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, see, this is what I want to avoid, having to run slowly like this for ages. Um, I should have slept. I should probably sleep. We're going to get injured. I don't want my horse to get too hurt. Um, but, yeah, let's, let's gallop around. See what we can find. We plow through the <laughs> villagers. Oh, that's a lot of mobs. I'm glad I have this horse right now. Alright. Um, let me just see if I have any torches. I don't. Okay. So I need to... So, but I, I thought the horses would only spawn if I generated new chunks. So that's, that's the one thing I really don't understand is why would the horses have spawned in my spawn chunks? Um, maybe... You know, I, I really have no theory as to how that happened or why. Um, but I am very grateful it did. I'm gonna talk to Cabo a little bit, and, and SC Petty, and Patch for that matter. Because uh, we've been doing a lot of experimenting with that. But, uh, I'll be right back. Alright everybody, welcome to the second annual meeting of the Hostile Mobs. Uh, I see you're all here. Spider, skeleton, zombie, creeper. Good to see you. Oh, hey Larry. Okay, so. Uh, there is a problem here on the flat world. As you can see, there's been some sort of flood. And someone's taking over. Uh, I think we need to group to- <laughs> I can't do this any longer. Is that a spider talkie over there? Yeah, this is crazy. If you just run around on the plains for a while, these guys just pile up. It's insane. Take a look. Those zombies are dripping. If we just take off here, they they will follow you. Oh, someone exploded. People be mad at each other. I guess uh, someone got in a little tussle. Look at this. It's so crazy. It's, it's insane. It's just crazy. Wow, look at the zombies. Ow. That arrow bounced off me. Whoa. 
So anyways, um, I'm finding a lot of peaceful mobs, but I'm I'm sure they're from before. Like, I'm sure they were already here. Uh, I'm going to check this village. I'm not sure if I've explored it yet. So this will be telling of where we are. Yeah, hold on, horsey. Okay, so I have explored it. Um, yeah, I don't know which way I should go or where I should look. So, as you can see, over there was the Iron Golem farm. So we're pretty far away from home. Um, so we could go north, I suppose, and be far enough away from the other time we went north that we would be generating new chunks. Um, so I might try and do that for a while. I'm really not sure. I don't know if I can lose any hunger while I'm riding a horse either, so that's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, we got our one horse, so I really want to find a name tag to name him, but I haven't found one yet, and I've looked in many, many villages, probably hundred, or at least a hundred by now, so, yeah, I don't know if we'll ever find one, but kind of just looking out for mobs. I don't know, maybe I should go ch kill the chickens at the base. I don't know. I'm just happy to finally have a horse, to be to be honest. Even if it's not the best horse. I still love him. Alright guys, so... I think I'm gonna end the episode here. Um, mostly because... I don't really know what to do now, uh, except for try and find more horses. So, die. Oh, what? Is there someone down there? It's a red sheep. And more wither heads? Do you see that? Yeah, another wither head. Look at that. Flashing around. Oh, there's one. Yeah, one over there. What the hell? <laughs> Anyways. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna end the episode here. Kill the rest of the animals around here. And then... Go find another horse, and then hopefully, uh, when I find the new horse and start breeding them all, I can bring all the animals back from the Ark and breed them and repopulate uh, the four buildings. So, that's the plan for now. And, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. So, thanks for watching. Have a good life.